Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how we can open a file with the extension of .exe on a Kali Linux machine. Now, these files are native to Windows, and normally these are meant to be opened on Windows operating systems, but we'll see how we can open the files or how we can run the files on a Linux machine. I'm logged into a Kali Linux machine, but these commands and the tools should be should be able to work on other distros like Ubuntu. Now we'll need to install a tool called Wine, and that's what we we'll use to open the, I have a file here, party.exe. We'll see if we can open that. So right now, if we just do, so we'll need to, we'll need a tool that we can use to run it or to open it. Now, the first command we'll need to run is to update our repository. So I'll do sudo up, update. And to install Wine, we'll do sudo app install Wine, press Y for yes. So th this is the next command we need to run. So install deep wine and it's already installed. Now that we have that installed, let's look at the file again. So this is the file we're trying to open. Now to open it, we'll run wine and then we'll put the file name here. And as you can see, we are able to open PuTTY, which is normally run on Windows, and we're able to open it on a Kali Linux machine using Wine, which what it actually does, it, it creates a layer that acts between the operating system, Linux operating system, and the file that's written for Windows, which allows us to open and run the file. As you can see, we are able to open the .exe file here on a Kali Linux machine. So now that we've seen that we can actually open a file ending with the .exe, let's actually see if we can actually run the tool and use the tool. So we'll go back and open Buddy. Or we'll open this application right here and see if we can actually use it to connect to a, an Ubuntu machine remotely. So again, we'll run one buddy.exe. And the tool is open here. And go ahead and minimize this. And we'll put in the IP address for the remote machine, which is 172.16.1.103. We're using SSH port on port 22. And we just click on open. And here we'll put in a username and password. And as you can see, we are able to remote in into it. We'll do who. So we are logged in from this computer, which is the IP for this Kali Linux machine. If we open another terminal, we should be able to check the IP. So this is our Kali Linux IP address, 172.16.1.13, which is what is being used here to remotely connect to this Ubuntu machine. And as we can see, this is a, a Ubuntu machine. And we've managed to use the application that ends with .exe, which is a party application that's normally used on uh, Windows devices. So we've used that to remotely connect to another machine from uh, our Kali Linux machine. So that's all for this video. I hope this information has been useful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks, bye.